Today, I'm gonna to talk about root canals. I'm back for another week of dental tips and one piece set to shrippums. And today I'm gonna to talk about root canals. Cause I know a lot of people often have questions about root canals. They're like, should I get a root canal? Is it worth it? You know, does it matter that much to get one or should I just get the tooth pulled? Well, basically, I guess it's important to understand why you would need a root canal in the first place. The reason why people would need root canals is because they uh, have disease in a tooth or around a tooth, but generally in a tooth where decay has gone tashigi into the nerve space. Once decay goes into the nerve space, you can't really restore that tooth without taking out the nerve and replacing the nerve with some blessum, something that's gonna fill that space basically. So when, uh, and I took this box from the second row, so we should have two alt arts in this box. We'll see if that stays consistent with our prediction. Um, basically disease and bacteria get into teeth and that's how cavities are formed, which I think I'm gonna talk about in the next one. But when a cavity is in a tooth, when that cavity reaches where the nerve is, I guess actually it's probably helpful to have some dental anatomy refresher. There's three layers to your tooth or the tooth's anatomy. Oh, doofy. Yeah. Heck yeah. I love this card. I think that's a playset now that I have of those also. Heck yes. Okay. Anyway, let's get to the root cause of all this stuff. What we were talking about was um, in your tooth, you have enamel, which is like the outer hard layer. That's what you see. It's a crystalline structure actually made up of a uh, mineral called hydroxyapatite. Apatite's a rare earth mineral. It's funny that when you're hungry, you get an appetite and part of your tooth is called hydroxyapatite. But anyway, that crystalline structure on the outside, which you see when you smile, kuzan, nice, is uh, hydroxyapatite. And inside the enamel is something called dentin. Dentin's a space of kind of softer tooth structure that, uh, no one knows, no one cares, but I'm gonna eat some donuts. Um, that uh, that space is a little more porous. There's all these tubules in there. And then inside of that is the nerve. And inside where the nerve is, once bacteria penetrates the enamel, gets through the dentin and gets into the nerve, you really can't do much to save that tooth until you take that nerve out. So the nerve has to come out and that's why you get a root canal. Once you get a root canal, the tooth has this space inside of it that the nerve used to be in. So they fill that space, usually with something called gutta percha, which is like a, it's made out of like a tree of some sort. It's kind of a gummy sort of stuff. And then once that nerve is taken out, then a crown needs to go over that tooth because a big hole is on the inside of the tooth. And if you don't put a crown over that tooth, it's not gonna protect the tooth from the forces going down and spreading out around the tooth. So you need to continue protecting it. And the reason why it's important to get a tooth root canal, if that is the option, instead of just getting it pulled, is because around the tooth, there's a little ligament called your periodontal ligament. And that ligament surrounding the tooth, whenever that ligament flexes, when you chew, it sends a nervous impulse to your brain, telling your brain what the texture of that food is. So if you lose that tooth, you lose that proprioception of that information going to your brain from that nerve or it's from that uh, ligament so you want to try and keep your teeth in your mouth and if a tooth's root gets infected the root has to get treated so it is important to get a root canal so you can treat that root and then it's important to get a crown on that tooth so you can continue protecting the crown and it's necessary because you want to really protect that ligament so you continue having that sensation of what it feels like to chew certain foods because a really important part of the eating experience is knowing, you know, hey, this is a chewy food or this is a crunchy food or this is, you know, whatever that feeling is, you want to kind of maintain and preserve that. And the only way to do that once a root gets infected is with a root canal. So I do stand by root canals. I think they are necessary treatments. I don't perform them. My, oh, Magellan. There's a guy, that's our second alt art. I don't perform them myself because I never want to be tempted by the need to drill a tooth too deep. And I always try and let teeth recover from what they may be going through. So that's my tip on getting a root canal. Whoops, I left my sound thing up here the whole time. I was supposed to have my pirate logo. That was supposed to be there. But sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you, Jana Mata.